Excitement for the upcoming Jurassic Park movie is at an all-time high, and despite the speedy production this movie is about to embark on, with David Kep behind the screenplay and Gareth Edwards directing, I think we're in pretty safe hands. At this point in time, if you're feeling optimistic about the next installment, you are not alone. No information about the story is currently known, and while producers have in the past indicated that Dominion marked the quote, new era for the franchise, one rumor continues to persist about the new movie. Could we be heading back in time for the next adventure? We're sending you back to the future! Welcome back to Jurassic Outpost, and today we're going to explore the possibility of the next Jurassic Park movie actually being a prequel. Before I jump in, I have to mention the Alien Romulus trailer. Have you seen it yet? Honestly, this is the kind of tone I hope we get in the next movie. Development on Gareth Edwards' next movie is well underway. The screenplay comes from the mind of the legendary David Kep, who penned the first two movies, and Gareth Edwards is now leading a team as they head into production on the next Jurassic Park. Universal Pictures have set a release date of July 2nd, 2025, and we know that production is set to begin within the next few weeks at Sky Studios in the UK, with filming taking place all summer. There are rumors the movie may film on the island of Kauai, as well as parts of California, which would very likely mean a return for the infamous islands, but we are uncertain on the validity of that specific rumor at this moment in time. Aside from what has been announced, little is known about the upcoming movie and while many are expecting a continuation of the last movie, a sequel to Jurassic World Dominion, rumours of the next movie actually being a prequel continue to persist both behind the scenes and among online leakers. Before we go any further, we should mention that any rumour, no matter the size, should be taken with a nice fat pinch of salt. Until official information is released, we can't and should not take rumors like this at face value. It is of course very fun to speculate, to discuss, to explore ideas for the next movie, but again, these rumors that we'll get into shortly are just that, rumors. We are not stating them as fact. And I have to say, I do personally believe that the next movie will indeed be a sequel and will continue the story after Dominion. It just seems more likely that the studio would want to continue the direction that they've just spent billions making a reality. Saying that, there is always a chance that the new movie is going to be a Rogue One style adventure, so let's have some fun speculating. Jurassic Park. <laughs> When you think of a Jurassic Park prequel, most of us will go to pre-1993, before the incident we see in the first movie. And while that would truly be a Park prequel, now that we are six movies in and three decades on from that original adventure, there are now a number of places in the timeline of this franchise that the writers could take us back to. Pre-Jurassic Park or pre-Jurassic World, or maybe somewhere in between one of the films in one of the trilogies. These eras have enough time around and between them that could provide space for an intriguing new story, an injection story or something like that. Not only could we see the construction of Jurassic Park or perhaps the creation of the first dinosaur, we could also visit the island just after that first disaster to see the island and the jungle reclaim the many structures that were left abandoned. Or how about taking us to Site B before Hurricane Clarissa shut down the facilities? A working InGen village on the remote island of Isla Sorna a Jurassic city, if you will, about to be hit with a hurricane strong enough to force the workers to flee and leave the animals to fend for themselves. Now that could be fun. And just a thought, Dr. Henry Wu could be an interesting story entry point here to tie it to the rest of the Jurassic story. Perhaps the largest gap of time this franchise has that at this point in time would still be considered a prequel is the period between 2001's Jurassic Park 3 and 2015's Jurassic World. The last sequence in the third movie shows us pteranodons flying away from their aviary on the island and heading to the mainland. Dear, I'm the nest in Enid, Oklahoma. While the corresponding viral marketing for Fallen Kingdom over 10 years later did answer some of these burning questions and showed us some delicious videos and images of pteranodons in locations around the world, the movie themselves naturally omitted this entire period of time from the screen. We jumped forward for Jurassic World, which takes place in 2015, and we know that the park itself opened 10 years prior to that in 2005. 
what happened to Isla Nublar, and of course Isla Sauna after 2001. Pteranodons making it to Vancouver and the nearby coastal areas would stir up a lot of controversy and likely lead to action on those islands, not to mention the years worth of poaching and scavenging that must have taken place by Biosyn and of course other entities, as well as the stories of lost fishermen and likely many more adventurers who perished just hoping to sneak onto one of the islands and see a living dinosaur. Los de pescadores que se sacaron demasiado las islas y nunca volvieron. Sí, sí, sí. He's heard stories of fishermen that came too close to the island and then never returned. Not to mention the construction of the Jurassic World Park is something we also haven't seen on screen and something many fans want to see. The reclaiming of Isla Nublar by Ms. Rani Global and the capturing of the many animals left on the island could also be a very interesting point in time for the story to take us back to. Jurassic World itself had 10 years of operation before the disaster that we see in the movie. Would you want to see a functioning Jurassic World? Clearly, there are large periods of time in this franchise that are open for more stories, for more adventures that we haven't seen. So if the next movie really is a prequel, what era should they choose? Let's take a look at the rumors currently suggesting a prequel. We at Jurassic Outpost first heard of a prequel in January, February time. Earlier in the year, a source informed us that they had heard the movie was set before the very first one. We didn't and still don't necessarily believe the rumor, but nonetheless, it got us thinking that maybe Universal aren't continuing the world era just yet. Perhaps the world era is going to get a rest at least in the live action form. Anyway, you will likely remember where some of the online discussion began regarding the idea of a prequel. V Scooper, a self-acclaimed insider with some verified claims, posted the following about the next movie. A rescue team ventures into an island ruled by dinosaurs to save scientists. The main hero to be a John Wick inspired character. A hybrid human dinosaur serum is uncovered at the end, focused on action and visuals. We reported this rumor at the time, but did state that we didn't necessarily believe it but it's certainly providing interesting discussion among the community with a lot of comments in strong support of the next movie going back in time. V Scooper followed up this rumor with some further information. The script is still in process and this is what can be heard around. Take with a pinch of salt. Human dinosaur hybrid was probably scrapped some time ago, could be replaced with something else. The following day they shared action thriller set within the first trilogy. A covert task force heads to an island to evacuate genetic scientists, female lead one before Hurricane Clarissa. However, the mission may hide another agenda they'll refuse to obey. So far, we can recap pre-sequel, female lead, scientist goes to an island, hurricane approaches and other stuff goes out of hand, task force is sent to aid, one is a hero, John Wick type, mission hides something else, action and visuals, no definite script. Now firstly, we cannot verify these rumors. As we said at the beginning, I'm not saying these are accurate. If we explore the possibility for a moment, David Kep wrote the first two movies and didn't contribute anything past that really he definitely didn't contribute to the world era perhaps his return coincides with spielberg wanting to take jurassic back to the 90s we know that the upcoming animated series chaos theory will be continuing the world era so perhaps the time is right for the movies themselves to go back and continue the park era Rumors began circulating last week that the lead role for the upcoming movie has been offered to none other than scarlett johansson a female-led story is something that frequently pops up and thinking about the possibility of Sauna's return is beginning to excite me. The prospect of seeing a potential working Sauna, Site B in operation, seeing the InGen workers living in the village. While we are unclear if the Scarlett Johansson rumor is true, the whole concept here just doesn't feel out of the question. This movie could take us to a time pre-1997's The Lost World. The timeline of the hurricane itself is something that becomes a little bit muddled. Trespasser, the video game, briefly gives mention to it, but Hammond doesn't give any clear dates as to when it takes place. The way Hammond talks about the hurricane in The Lost World indicates that it took place after the first movie, which could mean the story will take us anywhere between 1993 and 1996. 1997's InGen Village is a dilapidated, years abandoned location. This indicates that the hurricane definitely took place at least a couple of years before The Lost World, if not more. Either way, if, and it really is a big if, the rumors are true, then David Kep 
taking us back to this era of the Jurassic story is truly exciting and the prospect of seeing a functioning Site B before the disaster is something I'm very much in for. If it's handled correctly, and I do have a lot of faith in Gareth Edwards right now. Obviously, as you'll know, he made Rogue One, a Star Wars story, a prequel set within and in the middle of the established timeline of the Star Wars universe. Rogue One added so much depth and emotion and even compelling new characters to a storyline that fans already knew and loved. An entry like that in the Jurassic franchise from a director who was already a part of one could be exactly what we're getting. As I mentioned at the beginning, this is all speculation based on rumors. Please don't take this as fact. We can't verify the scoopers scoops, but with the word prequel constantly popping up in different conversations, it's making us wonder how possible it might be. Again, I really do think it's going to be a sequel, but we don't know what the story is. In recent years, the idea of a prequel has become much more appealing. Maybe it really is time to go back. We have to go back. What do you think? Do you think these rumors hold much weight? And would you like the next adventure to take us back to the 90s and back to the islands? Share those thoughts and whatever else you may have down below in those comments. And thank you for watching this video.